What's <clears throat> what's up, everybody? It is Royal J, and I am back again with another video. And this time, this time, I'm uploading another vinyl unboxing video from Discogs. Now I don't know which one this is. You know, they Kate. I got like two boxes, and I don't know which album is which. So we're just gonna open it and see what it is, and. I put it in the title, y'all don't know what it is before me, you know what I'm saying, because it's going to be in the title, you, you know, but at this moment, but we about to open it up, I'm not going to take too long, I don't like to make the videos too long and drag them out, so we're just going to open it in and get into it, and shout out to everybody who's been watching and supporting the videos, I hope you like it. We struggling over here, hold on. Hmm. No. Okay. Oh wow, so we have Pactra. Okay, I thought it was like multiple um, vinyls and it just flipped it so big, like the box. <clears throat> so this is Petra, Queen of the Pack. Oh wait, hold on, I got it up too high. Okay, that's Petra, Queen of the Pack. I love this album so much. She was literally like the dance hall queen in her prime at that particular time in the 90s. I love her. She's amazing. She's very, 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 like, just amazing. Look at that. Come on. Okay. <laughs> so, my favorite songs from this album would definitely have to be the intro. I love the hardcore intro. Um, Queen of the Pack, of course. Uh, what else? Romantic Call. Um, work a man, um, think, think about it, or something like that. I like this. I like the whole album, to be honest. But those are like my instant repeats. So, I grew up on reggae and R and B and stuff like that. So, I love these particular uh, albums. And I have her scent of attraction album as well on vinyl is over there. I did a, a unboxing video for it. I don't know if I'm gonna upload this one first or that one. But you know, if it is uploaded first, y'all go check that out. Okay. So yeah, this is Queen of the Pack. And inside, nothing inside. I got it from Discogs. A pretty good copy. It's a little bit of ring wear. And um a little bit of peeling, but not too bad. Not too bad. Durable. You know, durable. And we have her here, like. Like right here, she, you see, wait, let me see, okay. So here is her like walking on this thing and then the, the guys are carrying her. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, that's the, the bag and then that's her being carried by some guys. And this is the other side, let me see. I think this is a track of this thing. Yeah, this is a track listing, um, the credits, and all of that. I don't know. This is the thank you notes here, um, up here, and then right here. So let me see, I can see that. This is bright light, it's so annoying. Okay. So there we go. So let's look at the disc. Let's see what the disc is giving. Alright, so that looks pretty good. Not too bad. So, 
that is it. <clears throat> this is um this is her first album and I love it so much. Uh Patra, like she influenced a lot of women in the industry today. Like in so many ways. She was one of to me, in my opinion, like the research that I've done, she was the queen of her time. You know what I'm saying? The queen of dance hall and everything. She had that title. And she was just very fluent and very just open with her sexuality and just em embraced herself as a woman. And she was just really like that female at the time that was preaching that very hard. So she also was a female rapper who was really about sexuality and owning your womanhood and just loving yourself for it you know what i'm saying and not allowing men to tell you who you are dictate you so she was very strong in that um i wish we would have got more albums from her we only got two I, I think she came out with one recently either an album or an ep or something like that i'm not for sure not too, like a few years ago but i haven't heard it or checked it out you know but yeah this is my favorite album from her I love it so much like she's so cool even if you listen to her interviews too like if you go and listen to her interviews from the 90s and I think even from the 80s she never really changed how she felt you know as a woman and I love that I just love it she was very confident in who she was so yeah so that's it I hope you guys like it Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And follow my social media down below in the description box. And click the bell to be notified when I upload. And I will see you amazing and beautiful people in the next video. Peace.